Hello everyone, welcome to Yangzhou, China. Uh, today I'm gonna take you on a walk through a tourist area of Yangzhou. This area is called Dongguanjie, and I was actually just reading uh, like an explanation of this area on the wall, and apparently this is called Guangling. It's like an ancient part of Yangzhou. We came over here once before a few years ago, but it was really crowded that day, and I didn't really get a chance to understand. So I was just walking through like a back alley and most of these buildings in this area are really old. So it's really, really cool. You can have a look. We're not really quite at the, the main tourist street yet, but it's already pretty neat. All of these, uh, well, a lot of these places are like little coffee shops and little places to eat. And these are all coffee shops. I had a snack just before. Really, really delicious. Sort of like a roja mo, but a little bit different style. It was really, really good. Let's see if I uh, get back on the main road and show you guys what it looks like. So, it seems like the main gate is this way, so. We'll have a quick walk this way and show everyone what it looks like over here. There's lots of food over here, so if you come to Yangzhou um, to visit, oh look at this. These little these little areas are really cool. These little alleys. I have to imagine this place has looked exactly like this for a really really long time. Love it. Oh, there's my wife. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> they stopped to uh, they stopped to get something to eat and drink while I was exploring. So actually this is even nicer than what I remember. Because, as I said, the last time I came here, it was really busy. It was so busy that it was like <laughs> almost a cause for some anxiety because it was just, there were so many people just like getting stuck behind them and, you know, it was loud and really couldn't appreciate any of it. Today, I mean, there's people here, but it's not really that busy. It seems like all of these little alleys off to the side have like really cool little like there's just like old houses down there and kind of get a peek at what this place must have looked like you know a hundred uh, hundreds of years ago maybe a thousand years ago i love that so obviously there's lots of like you know places to buy souvenirs and stuff I think this is the main tourist road in Yangzhou. So I guess if you come to Yangzhou, you need to come here. You know, <laughs> it's going to be probably top of the list of places that are recommended to come. It's pretty good. Just try to avoid uh, coming here. If possible, I would try to avoid coming here like during a holiday weekend or something because it's probably insane. So here's another one of these alleys. You can see they pretty much all look like this. I just think it's really, really, really worthwhile to come and, and check these places out. Like these buildings are really old and the people that live down here, you know, their families have probably lived here for generations. So. It's really cool. Yeah. If you are from Yangzhou, or you're just really familiar with this area, uh, where would you recommend that people visiting here, like where should they eat? 
Are there any like little roads that you think are really beautiful? Then you can leave a comment below because I'm not familiar with this area, so I don't really know much about it. I really want to learn more about Yangzhou. It seems like a really, really nice place. So there's a, like a gate over here. <clears throat> I don't know if that's the uh, original one. It looks like you know they've done some work to to make it look you know new newer. But I don't know like if it's something from ancient times or something they built here um, you know, more recently. Check it out. This road goes for a while. It's much longer than I thought. I think it's got to be more than a thousand meters long. There's lots of stuff to see over here. And there, are, like I said before, there's lots of alleys shooting off on both sides. Lots of places to explore. Looks like some food over here. Let's check it out. Ah, this is really cool. Here's my wife again. Let's surprise her. Uh, this little alley looks promising. Let's go down here and check it out. Foot massage. Kitty. <laughs> Funny cat. sudden very very quiet I wouldn't mind living in one of these little places Could you see me living in one of these places? You can leave a comment below. <laughs> I think I could see myself living here. Driving this little this little vehicle around. keeps going. I thought that was the end. That road was actually really long. It was like uh, more than a thousand meters, I think. Looks like it keeps going on this side. Wow. This is the, the food side for sure. Doggy. There's way more food on this side. Lots of delicious treats. Pig's feet. I am not a fan of those eggs. I've only had them once. I think someone convinced me to eat them uh, my first month in China and I'll never forget it. It was, uh, I mean, the flavor wasn't bad, but it's 
just the idea, because it's like a fetal egg. There's like a fetus inside. It's crunchy. It's uh, not my favorite treat, for sure. Now you can see this road goes down for a long way. It's much longer than I thought. Lots of stuff over here. Lots of treats. Oh, that smells really good. Getting hungry. He's selling fish that he caught. Little tiny fish. What is this? Get back onto the main road here. Explore a little bit further. Puppies! Wow, a lot of puppies. Hey, puppies. Oh, okay. oh. Those cages are too small. There's too many puppies in a little tiny cage. I'm gonna walk down this way and check it out. This is really cool. Ah, looks really nice down there. I did not expect it to be like this over here. It's much different than I expected. The houses across the way. Wow, this is, yeah, this is really cool. Really, really, really nice. Coming here, I really feel like I can get a sense of what the city must have looked like, you know, hundreds of years ago. It's, this area is probably unchanged, you know, like the, obviously the road layout and stuff, but even the buildings look mostly like originals, so. Every time I talk to my father-in-law about Yangzhou, he always tells me, um, you know, Yangzhou was a big, important city long before Nanjing was anything important. Like, Yangzhou is a really, really ancient Chinese city. All right, I'm gonna head, uh, back to the tourist area and see if I can find my wife. I really hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, don't forget to Tianzhan, Guangzhou, Pinglin, and Zhuanfa. And uh, yeah, I'll see everyone in the next video. Bye.